There's a part in the movie where Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum are both like spring break motherfuckers. But no, you got that wrong. It's summertime now. School's out, summer break, and we are having a weekend of sequels. Okay, so 22 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street is the sequel to 21 Jump Street, starring Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum and is directed by Christopher Miller and Phil Lord. In the last one, they have to go to high school to bust this drug lord, but in 22 Jump Street, it's the same thing, but they have to go to college. There's this new type of drug going around and Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum have to stop the dealer. And let me start off by saying that Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum work awesome together. They seriously make the movie. They made the movie the last time and they certainly make the movie this time around. I don't think that there would be the movie without them. They are that good. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum's character relationship within the movie does go deeper and it does get better. In terms of story and development, but their relationship is in a little bit of trouble. They are in that stage in their relationship where they're hanging out with different people and they're like, I don't know, maybe I should start hanging around with these people because I feel better with them. And I'm sure we've all had our best friends and they go into a different path and we just lose them. This movie does get deep in the qualities of friendship and I really like that. 22 Jump Street is a sequel and they address that to you in the movie that it is a sequel. They seriously point out how sequels aren't as good as the originals. The sequels fall flat on its head due to doubling the budget, the explosions, and everything. The movie industry seems to take sequels in a different direction, but just make the sequel make the characters do the same exact thing as the last time and fans will be happy. Yeah, they point that out in the movie. I thought that was pretty hilarious. However though, they do give away the plot in the beginning and you just watch the movie and you're like, you guys gave that all the way in the beginning. I wanted a surprise. Yeah, I didn't like that. Ice Cube is also in the movie and he is given a bigger part and he is absolutely hilarious. And once you get to a specific scene with Ice Cube in it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But once you see it, you'll laugh your head off. <laughs> I'm, I'm still laughing, but it was that funny. I'm just like thinking about it and just, it's that funny. Alright, <laughs> serious face. Yeah, I like the movie. It was cool. It was funny. You know what, forget it, that's boring. 22 Jump Street is a successful attempt to a sequel in comedy. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum make an excellent pair and the jokes were funnier than the original but some of them do fall flat a little bit. And they kind of give away how the movie is going to play out in the beginning and I didn't really like that. I thought the sequel was better than the original. I like 21 Jump Street and I love 22 Jump Street and I'm giving 22 Jump Street a solid 4 out of 5. And I'm serious guys, the summer is looking really good so far. It's so good to a point where I think this may be the best summer I've ever had to experience in movie theaters. Now we'll just have to see if the sequel to How to Train Your Dragon is the better sequel and which movie takes home the trophy of the better sequel of this weekend. But in the meantime, I have to get going. Peace.